Amazing. What we want to do is we want to create the exact same function as double clicking on top of your menu bar. So we got this program, our windows are a mess, we want to use our computer, you want to use its function. The function of a computer is to make it do what you want. The function of a knife is for it to be sharp. So what we want to do is we want to make our computer sharp here. So double clicking onto the title bar fills up the screen, that's nice, but anything on the on the mouse that you're doing, dragging it around, blah blah blah, it's time consuming, it's annoying, it's kind of for children. So what you want to do is create a shortcut. So what we're what we'll um, go and I'll just close that out. So command space bar, and if you don't know that one, then you need to know it because that's gonna save your efficiency by at least thirty percent. That's just kind of a guess. So we're just gonna go to to type in keyboard and that's going to take us right to this and we're going to go to shortcuts so after doing like a lot of searching and things like that and I've got another video that I might post which is too long and I'm trying to make this short for you guys because I know long videos are annoying so you just go to app shortcuts hit plus and we're just going to choose all applications and after I show you this main thing how we're going to create a zoom um, I'm going to show you how to be careful when you create other shortcuts and make your computer just do exactly everything that you want through shortcuts. Shortcuts are the key to love when it comes to computing. So on here, go back to this window, we're going to go window and you see here we've got minimize and we've got this option called zoom, which is a frustrating one, especially when I was searching for a way to get this to work. And you know what, maybe you don't even need this video, it might not be that hard, but I found it difficult and I'm, you know, kind of okay with computers so one thing that I did on the previous video is trying it with a lowercase letter it does not work it has to be exactly like the menu command especially when you well it just has to be that way that's the computer doesn't understand and I had tried different shortcuts you absolutely have to make sure that the keyboard shortcut that you create doesn't conflict with your program so before I had command shift M uh, programs like Chrome use that for shortcuts. If it's a shortcut in use for something else, it's not going to come up with a command to tell you otherwise. Um, so I do Control, Option, and M. So it's somewhat similar to the Minimize command. So we're going to go there and create that. Command Tab brings me back to the other app. And Control, Option, M. So beauty, you know? I don't have to double click on here. To do it, I mean, yeah, you can still do that, and it's not the, it's not a big deal. Also, you can do command option, or I mean, option, and then click on it, and does the same thing. Shortcuts are the key to life. Anyways, so that's pretty cool. And then uh, before it was conflicting with Chrome, and I mean, you can make whatever keyboard shortcuts that you want. So let's say, for example, I've got something that. Yeah, well, yeah, what's going on here? That's a great site, by the way. Um, so kind of this led me here, but it kind of didn't work with the way the, the guy was saying it. And I was going through here and just, ugh, terrible. So let's say I want to share this website with somebody. I want to do a pretty cool command. I got a lot of stuff set up here. Telegram, blah, 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 airdrop. Now, wouldn't it be cool if I could get the share command on all programs to just do a uh, do to do an airdrop. So if you look at it here, make sure you you look at the word carefully. It has to be exact. And we're going to create a shortcut for that one too. All applications, air, and here's the key thing: make sure that D is capitalized because that is the way that it appears. Uh, my com my shortcuts that I'm using that appear to not conflict with anything as of yet I'm not using the command key because that is just it's too widespread with other shortcuts and I want to prevent um, conflicts of interest shall you say so I'm, I'm doing control and option um, to create my custom keyboard shortcuts so control option A is the one I'm making for airdrop right it's kind of Mac does kind of a, a letter -y kind of thing if you know what I mean and so now I'll go back to this site and 
boom, that brings me right up to the airdrop. So yeah, create your own keyboard shortcuts. If you have any questions and you actually find this video, which I'd be surprised, honestly, um, put it in there and I'll probably get back to you in about six, seven years and we'll figure it out together. All right. I'll do some more. If you guys got any other tutorial type of stuff you want me to do, I'm open to suggestions. I like function. And yeah, have yourselves a good good day, guys. Try to have some virtue in your life and be kind. Don't be too nice, eh? All right.